All right, in this video, I'm going to show you how to find the area of a kite. And I, I don't actually know the real name for this figure. I just call it a kite. And uh, a kite is a figure that has two pairs of congruent sides. Now, that happens to be the same definition of a parallelogram. The difference, however, in a parallelogram, the congruent sides are opposite to each other, while in this kite, the congruent sides are adjacent to each other, so it, it forms a kite. Now, for this video, we want to find the area of this kite. Um, and the way I find the area of figures that I don't really know about is I see if I can try and break it up into figures that I'm familiar with. So in this kite, if I show the diagonals, I've got the red diagonal and the green diagonal, I end up seeing four triangles. Now I know how to find the area of triangles. Um, and then if I take these triangles, and if I take each triangle and double it, boom, watch that, see how I'm doubling it? I now get either, I can think of it as four separate little rectangles, or I can put it together and I get the a one big huge rectangle. So I'm going to focus on this big, huge rectangle here. And I can see that the area of a rectangle is base times height. And in this case, the base is D2, and the height is D1. So the area of this rectangle is D1 times D2. But we don't want the area of the entire rectangle. We want half of that because we want just the kite. And so it's the formula for the area of the kite is going to be D1 times D2 divide by 2. And why do we have to divide by 2? Because we don't want the whole rectangle, that's d1 times d2. We want just half of that, which is the rectangle, I mean, uh, which is the kite. And so that's the formula for the area of a kite, d1 times d2, divide by 2. 